And what's up guys and girls, it's Jesse Apparel here from MMO-Play.com. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the game Auto Club Revolution, also known as ACR, developed and published by Utechnics. It is a free racing browser MMO. Even though it is browser based, keep in mind that you're going to have to go ahead and download the launcher. The launcher is roughly 700 megabytes or so, so there is a download needed. Um, it's kind of necessary to, you know, kind of play something like this in a browser um, with, you know, the graphics, and we'll go over the graphics quickly. But right off the bat, as you can see here, we're on, you know, kind of the HUD, um, the home website. Um, this is where you're going to work off everything. Because it is browser-based, you know, everything that you're going to be working with is in your browser. Um, you can see here, this is a picture of me and my girlfriend. So now you know what I look like if you didn't know what I look like. Um, that is a nice integration, the integration of social media. That is what this game has going for it. Um, you know, it's all about socializing and, you know, having fun at the same time. You know, a lot of games are about that, uh, but you don't really see that enough with, you know, car racing games. You know, it's very limited where this game kind of takes it to a new level. So this here, this profile picture, um, I'm pointing it out because that is actually my Facebook profile picture. If you want to sign up, you can actually, you know, kind of copy all your Facebook um, information over onto here and use that. And that's exactly what I did. So it was very quick in terms of getting set up. All I did was say, sign in with Facebook, boom, and I had this set up. Now, we're going to look at all the different, you know, tabs up here. Auto Club. Now, the term Auto Club is kind of, you know, that whole collaboration of, you know, social, um, the social aspects. Um, let's first look at, you know, Car Select. This is the car I own. I have this available to buy, and you can see I can buy all these different cars. And uh, let's see how many cars there are currently. There currently are 53 models, um, 53 cars, and I, I, you know, you can assume that this will increase drastically over time. Um, you can master car skill rating, and there are car achievements. There's also the suggested friends, so you can add friends. Um, you can really see what I mean by, you know, having that social aspect. Now let's go straight to auto clubs because that is, you know, kind of the name of this. All right, now I know you guys and girls are looking to get down to the gameplay. I promise we will do that. Um, but first, I want to go over all the different features because it is browser-based. We have to look at all these different optionalities. Find an auto club. So this is basically your filter. You can filter by the number of members, friends, rank. Now, what is an auto club exactly? It's basically a guild for this game. You can see these people here. This, they have a cap of 100. They have a cap of 80. This means, you know, that they're n this is the number of members in the club. It's currently capped out. You can see it's Russia, and you've got all these different profile pictures. None shall pass, which is, you know, Lord of the Rings quote, or Holy Grail. Um, Tis but a scratch. <laughs> you know, th some of these are really humorous. You can join the clubs, more info. Some of them will have, you know, some information. Um, top drivers, designers, and personalities with many top places at ACR leaderboards. So some of these are very competitive. And this, you know, it adds a nice mix of things, you know, because sometimes, you know, racing for yourself, you know, it's pretty cool. But when you have a big group of top-notch racers, it's going to make it even cooler. Let's go out and check out the race hangout. All right, guys and girls, we're now in the race hangout tab. We can see all these different cars here. Now, these are actual players. You know, there's a lot of MMO aspects here. Um, we can see all the different players, um, and they're all unique cars. Clearly, my car is the crappiest car. There's a lot of nice little features. For instance, if I really like the customization of a car or the look of a car, I can like that. So if I want to like that, he's now got 25 likes on this car, you know. So some cars are more liked than others. It means, you know, they're either really good cars or really cool looking. So it's kind of a really cool social feature. At the same time, there's a chat on the side. So I can chat with anybody in this hangout. Um, for instance, if I go over here, you know, I can see all these people here. Um, some funny names, Angels Blue, nice car. Um, he has no likes on it, so you can go into these lobbies, get likes, chat with people, say, hey, I like your design, how did you do that? Um, a lot of social aspects. At the same time, you can see close match games, free-for-all games down here, a little bit of organization. You can join those games, you can see the cap of eight in the lobbies, you know, they can set it to three, five laps, um, and the weather is also a nice feature, you know, you can have rain, or sun, a little bit of clouds, you kind of get a little bit of everything. Um, and you can also sort it out with your friends, for instance, if I want to go friends, it'll loan my friends, which Clearly, I have none, um, <laughs> but you can organize it pretty neatly. All right, guys and girls, we're now looking at my car. Now, um, there is a HUD outside of this. You guys are just going to be able to see the actual, you know, the view that I'm looking at, um, minus, you know, all the, 
you know, the colors and stuff and optionalities. Um, just because that's the way the recording software works. Um, we can look at the body. For instance, if we want to play around with the different look here. Um, we can see, you know, all the different angles. They really do, you know, give you the mobility um, and looking at, you know, the crevices of your car because we want our cars to look really cool, right? So that's exactly what we do. If we want, we can change, you know, the colors of our car. There's four options here. Those are the four options um, in terms of stock. And then there's, you know, mate, and you get into all kinds of different fancy ones that you have to buy, such as pearlescent, metallic glosses, um, you name it. Um, and those will cost um, e-bucks, which is, you know, a currency that you purchase. Um, generally, it comes down to either spending e-bucks or CRs, which you earn from races. Um, if we want to look at the wheels, um, you know, we can change them around a little bit. Eh, slight little difference there. Or if we want to change the inside to a blue, that's exactly what we just did. Um, there's a lot that's going to have to come out um, in terms of colors um, and upgrades. But, you know, there's already a lot here. A lot of it is stuff that you have to buy. So do keep that in mind um, and that there will be a lot of use of e-box. All right, guys and girls. So now this is the view that I was looking at. Now you see what I mean by you can't actually, you know, see the car inside there just because... Um, of the way the recording works. It's technically like a separate, you know, interface, full screen interface. Um, but there is a car there that I can see. Um, we can see here that we're now in, you know, the styling suite tab. They do make a really nice, you know, button option up here for the four sub tabs. Um, we have all kinds of decals down here. For instance, I want to throw arrows on my car. I can do that. And then you can, you know, adjust the size and stuff of the car or the placement. Um, before they are on the car, you name it. Um, you can do a ton of things. You can make some really interesting things. Um, there are animal options, as you can see here, it requires more e-bucks, and you can buy e-bucks up here, as you can see. Um, and there's also the CRs that I mentioned previously. Um, so there's a lot of customization here. Uh, we want to go into comic text. Let's see what that is. Comic text decal pack. Another buy thing, checkered flag. You buy that, and here's something that costs. Um, Sierra, if I want to buy this, I can buy that right now because I have 1,481 Sierra, which I believe I earned from just doing the tutorials. And um, so there's not, you know, everything, it's not like, you know, a buy to look cool thing. Um, you know, you can earn um, a lot of the stuff to make your car look cool anyway. So um, lots of stuff. Let's go to upgrades because that is really big. Um, you're about to leave the workshop. All in save changes will be lost. Cool. I didn't really make much um, or <laughs> too many changes. At least the car is still going to suck. All right, what is this here? We got a really cool schematic looking thing here. Um, you can see there's overall completion, 0%. Um, let's go to drivetrain. All right, we got the inertia reduction. What happens if I click that? Oh, wow, this is interesting. This is, <laughs> I'm not a car guy. <laughs> so we got the stock here. Um, we click that, let's see what happens. Stock inertia, we got top speed. This upgrade is currently active. Um, so you can buy different upgrades. Um, you can see that there's either e box once again or CRs. Um, now there's also a level requirement for certain upgrades. So yes, you can have a really cool car, but if you're not, you know, the le the high enough level to you know unlock certain upgrades, the car is not going to be that great. So let's go ahead and buy an upgrade. Um, now it opens up this. We can buy it with e box or with the CRs, 100 CRs. So now that we bought that, we get a plus zero one VPR boost. Um, and now the car is that much cooler. Let's see if we can go ahead and buy this. I'm not level two, so let's see if it's going to give me an issue. Maybe the car is level two? I don't know. That's pretty cool. 10% overall completion um, to the customization. We also have suspension, wheels, engine. You can see where it's going. You know, there's a lot here. And I really do like this kind of schematic thing where it points to where everything is. So if you're not familiar with these things, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a, you know, knowledge base. You can learn a little bit. And then there's the cosmetics field as well take a quick look at that cosmetics are you know really fancy rims and stuff alloy wheels you name it um, you will find all of that in here um, if you want dice or something crazy like that um, you can go ahead and do that I'll, you can see they're coming soon so they're working on that you know you can have custom car plates and um, this game is gonna have a ton of customization it already has a decent amount um, I mean these games 
Um, specifically, um, car, the car genre has a ton of customization features, and you know this game definitely fits that. Let's get straight into gameplay. We can look at the showroom and the leaderboards, um, but you guys basically understand how this works. You know, everything's here. It's pretty solid. Um, you know, we have our friends, you know, the social collaboration, and all the customization that we really do need in a auto club or a racing game in general. All right, guys and girls, it's finally time to get into some gameplay. I do apologize for, you know, going over you know the customization stuff but I have to do it because you know a lot of people do look at that and you know it's all there it seems pretty solid so far um, but it's the gameplay that we all look for so let's get straight into that we can see that I completed the daily challenge for the day there are challenges and lots of little achievements here and there to complete you can see here different car achievements um, tons of awesome stuff um, we're gonna do a single player ra we're gonna raise a CPU just because I suck and I have a very heavy foot or in this case, I guess a heavy finger. <laughs> we can see the customization at Circuit to Spa. You know, we can pick the track. We can pick the weather, which will impact your driving ability. Dry or wet. There's penalties as well, which basically, if you cut a corner, you're gonna lose um, some time. Um, there's a lot of awesome features like that, just because you know you don't want people kind of cheating and stuff. And there's different things that will, you know, put you off. Let's find a good track. So there's a ton of tracks here, actually. I mean, if we go over here, over here, and over here. That's a lot of tracks. We've got four tabs of tracks, which, you know, they kind of overlap. That's how they get you. But there's still a ton of stuff here. Let's go to Road Course. I don't know what this one's like. Let's get into things. All right, guys and girls, we're now in the game. Listen to that. Listen to the sounds, you need to really focus on the sounds, very nice sounds, um, audio is a very big thing in this game, but I think the main thing with racing games is the controls, and that is exactly what you have here is good controls, except, <laughs> except I don't know how to use them apparently, alright I'm going to cut across here because I'm cheap like that, you'll notice I just got a penalty for doing that, and if you're wondering what this green line is, it's basically being efficient, when it's red it means reduce speed, when it's green, it means your speed's good or pick up speed. Um, yellow is kind of just maintain speed. Um, and we are supposed to follow it for efficiency purposes. So when you take the corner, you'll notice you go out, and then you cut in right at the last second, which I totally didn't do there. And then you're going to see me at the sand. Now listen to the sand. Now I could, I, don't, I can almost feel the sand hitting the back of the tires. Um, also, you'll notice if you look at the back of my window in the car, as I move, the reflection of the clouds, um, it rotates throughout my windows on my car. I guess I should probably drive. Um, there's also the mirror option at the top here, where you can see everything. Um, let, let's see if I can catch up these guys. I'm too into this. But the controls are WASDA. Let's see that. Pretty simple. Space is great. And <laughs> you can lose control pretty easily. So. This isn't a game necessarily where you, whoever has the best car is the best driver. It really does come down to getting used to the controls and playing a lot, you know, being kind of skillful, which I clearly, I'm <laughs> clearly not. Um, I probably could have kept up with those guys. I suck. Oh my god. Also, if you hit the grass or dirt, um, the different textures will slow you down and affect your overall control of your vehicle. Um, we can see the speedometer in the bottom right. Uh, pretty simple in terms of getting up there in speed. Some cars are a lot faster than others, but some of them will lose control um, and you know overall stability with that speed. I clearly don't have anything right now. Let's see if I can do this. Listen to the sound. You hear it shifting gears. Nice sound. Nice control. Environments are nice. Graphics are pretty moderate. Um, nothing too amazing, but like I said, some nice shadow and texture effects. You know, not the most mind-blowing graphics or graphics setting, but it's there. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys here a collision. All right. <laughs> so you can see that in the collision, there's actually no damage done to the vehicle. Um, so don't expect pieces of your car flying off. It's kind of a downer. 
But in terms of the controls in the game, it's very realistic. I think that's the best way to describe it. Realistic controls, but in terms of collision, not so realistic. Um, so I think it's a good game to check out. If you guys are interested into driving games, um, it's a great free MMO. It's definitely worth the download and checking out. Awesome sounds. Listen to this. Wait, I'll do a little dance for you guys to end the video. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of... So you can see how the car... Okay, let's see if I get that goal. You can see how I really do have control of this car. In the sense, I can kind of make it dance. <laughs> now, keep in mind, guys, I'm not the best driver. So when you play this, it's going to look a lot better. And, you know, guys and girls, this is JB Desipero here. And this is Auto Club Revolution. If you're interested in checking it out, go to mmo-play.com. See you in the next one.